Definition dimensions. Motion 1D, motion 2D. Alright? Today we have a couple of hours, so we will spend that solving questions from motion in 2D. Alright? So we will be taking miscellaneous questions, different topics of motion in 2D, and we will try to solve them. Right now I'll take, stop talking. Right now I'll take mains level questions. So last one hour I'll be taking KPI and advanced level questions. Okay? No doubts till now, right? Anyone has any doubt from the entire chapter? No doubt. Ah. I'm not finding P, I'm just writing the equation. This is the equation of x axis, this is the of Okay, you can see, right? Question number 4 and 5. First, solve question number 4. Okay? You have 2 minutes to solve it. Right now it is 1407. You have two minutes quickly solve it. This is P. So four answer is P. Four answer is P. P, right? The body having shortest range. Range formula, you know what it is? U square sine 2 theta y. Sin 2 theta by g. Now, sin 2 theta is lowest for which of these angles? Sin theta could be minimum. What about sin 2 theta? That also? Fifth? Fifth, you have two minutes. Quick. So they are not asking to exactly tell the path, you have to estimate what path would be the possible See, what, what the air resistance will do? Air resistance will oppose the velocity. The velocity is in this direction, it will, it will apply a force in opposite direction of velocity. This is what air resistance will do. Alright? 
simply solve it in two minutes and then also keep quiet. Others, equal is not in the option, right? So definitely that is wrong. Anyone got it till now? Anyone? No one. No one got it till now. Okay. Sir, okay, sir. All these questions are based on normal knowledge type, type 1. If this kind of thing happens in the actual exam where you are taking more than 3-4 minutes, you should leave it. Right? Go to the next question. Okay? What is the answer? Okay. Only one got the answer till now. Anybody else? Anybody else got it? Ah, I know. This question was there in the test. Alright, now I'll solve it. I can't give you so much time also. See, a stone is projected with velocity u at angle theta reaches maximum height h1. So, h1 I'll write as, what is the formula u square? Sin square theta by 2g, this is h1, h2 will be what? Now this is 9 divided theta, so h2 will be u square, cos square theta by 2g. u square sin square 9 divided theta, which is u square cos square theta. So h2 is u square cos square theta by 2g. Okay? Now r is the range, range is what? Range formula you know? u square sin 2 theta by g and sin 2 theta is what? 2 sin theta cos theta. This is your r. Now look at the values of h1, h2 and r. What will come in your mind? I need, I need to eliminate theta. I need to find the relation between h1, h2 and r. So how to eliminate it? If I square it, if I square r, so r square will be 4 times u to the power 4 sin square cos square g square. So u square sin square theta by 2g is h1, u square cos square theta by 2g is h2. So I can say that r square is say 4 times um, 2h1 2h1 and g2 right? Then what it will be? Yes or no? No, no, root me. You can write this as u square sin square theta by g square. This I am writing as this thing you can write as 4 times u square sin square theta by g multiplied by u square cos square theta by g. u square sin square theta by g is 2h1, u square cos square theta by g is 2h2. So this. So r is 4 times of root h1, h2. Okay. So if you look at it carefully, this is more mathematical than physics question. It is more of like a mathematics question. You know the relations. But you need to understand that you have to eliminate theta and, that, and you have to get the relation between h1 and h2 or you could also look at the options. After you get h1, h2 and r, look at the option what is best fit like that you can also see. Okay? Understood? You have these two questions. Okay? You have five minutes to solve both of them. Okay, right. how many of you got 7th question? The first one. How much it is? D. D. D for donkey. 40 is to 1. How many of you got the next one also? Speed is less. I will solve the seventh question. Meanwhile, dot dot h is y. Dot dot. A is 
tan theta, tan of 45 is 1, so it a is 1, and g divided by 2 u square cos square theta is b. So u is what? u is 20, you can substitute the values of g, u and theta here and you get a is to b. I am comparing the equation of polar time. Coefficients. Uh, what else will come in your mind? When you look at it, what else should come in your mind? Tell me. This equation of polar time only, yes or no? Eighth one. For what two angles the range will be same? The range of the same will be? We have done this or not? As a theory we have done? So, the range of two projectiles will be same when some of the angle will be 90 degree. Right? So, if one angle is theta 1, other angle will be 90 minus theta 1. Right? So, if initial loss along x axis is u cross theta 1, then along y axis, the initial loss of the other one will be u sin theta 1. This is u x. So, time of flight will be same. No, type of flight range is same. So u sin theta 1 into t1 is r and u cos theta into t2 is also equal to r. Fine? So the logic of x axis into time of flight is the range. Then you take the ratio. The you, you know the range formula also, right? Range is? So you, get, you will get the answer what is sin theta by cos theta from here. So T1 by T2 is basically cos theta by sin theta and write down the formula for T1 and T2. Right? Okay, solve ninth question. Solve ninth question. You have two to three minutes to solve. Start doing it. Anybody got? So if I know the total distance traveled by the stone, and if I know in 3 seconds how much distance has travelled, I'll subtract it. So you, you should get the range and from the range you should subtract the distance it travels in 3 seconds. Alright, so this is all. Because the question will be different. So you need to have this problem solving attitude. 